That sounds like your relationship with Chip Kelly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking to you. Yeah, tell him about, that. Tell about <laughs> your relationship with Chip Kelly. He messed up the dream team, the real dream yeah, team. Yeah, right. Like, we really could have been Super Bowl. When you yeah. say it out loud, yeah, you say special. Vic, Deshaun Jackson, Jeremy Macklin, Deshaun McCoy, Sensei. Brent Selleck, that offensive line that had studs. Even Ertz was there, too. Wasn't Ertz, it? Was baby Zach, Ertz. Yeah, Zach, Zach came in after yep. What is it like when you're on a team and it's like <laughs> training camp and you look around and you go, we're about to be a problem. Like, can you just feel it in the locker room? I think the mentality, I think you built that mentality early on. Because you got to say, like, through OTAs, you know, training camp, like, you build a camaraderie with the team. Like, everyone that, like, we're not just playing together and just go to work together. But, like, we was really hanging out, going over each other's houses. Is that rare? It's in the kind NFL? Of, kind like of, big sorta, group. Kind like, of, sort of. Because yeah. we assume that y'all just chill all the time. It's hard to, to come into a locker room and, you know, for me and Mike to kind of rub elbows and understand, like, how he was raised and how I was raised. Like, being in a locker room full of 53 different individuals coming groups. from different, yeah. Yeah. you know, places different in their time. life. Like, you might get somebody coming from Iowa. He coming from Virginia. I'm coming from Los Angeles. Like, it's oh. different. So, f- for us to have the camaraderie we had and what we was built, like, his, his lady was talking about, like, we was really doing stuff in the community. His kids might, like, we did yeah. all that stuff. So, yeah. it was really like a brotherhood, and we just felt we had something special there for it to be gone in a snap of a finger. It, yeah. was, it was tough, man, because yeah, we, we, we definitely like had to win. just broke up so abruptly that we... It was like traumatized, and I went to New York. He stayed, Shady stayed. Macklin left and went to Kansas well, City. It was it just happened, happened so fast. Like in your year, if you had to sum it up in like one sentence, right? Like, yeah, I mean, I, I, I I'll give it straight to you. Yeah, I, I, go I, ahead. I'm real. I, I would I would just say it's like this. So you have a coach that comes in and brings in his own stigma or his culture or his philosophy, whatever you want to call it. Right. And he was one of them coaches where he didn't believe in players. Like, it was his system. And the NFL right. is players that wins championships. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, wow. in New England Patriots, they have a system that Bill Belichick has But you they know, find matchups within right. the system. You get what I'm saying? Right. And, and I just right. feel like it's players in this league. Like, you have Tom Brady. You have Edelman. You have Gronkowski. You have all these pieces to the puzzle. Right. And Chip Kelly was one of them coaches where he was like, it's my system. This is like, what we, do. we wow. Like, literally, when he was I hired. looked at it like that. When he was hired. Him, me, McCoy, Macklin, we didn't have starting positions. He was like, y'all are all threes, like, twos. Like, y'all got to earn y'all positions. Yeah. We're like, what the there hell was no you starters. talking about? Like, me and Nick battled. Like, come on, bro. Him like, you, you got pro Bowl players is <laughs> battling with practice squad players. Yeah. I, it, I, yeah. True story. <laughs> Just that year, I'm laying in my hyperbaric chamber before a preseason game. I never told y'all this. I'm battling Nick Foles for a starting position now. I've been the starter for 12 years of my, of my career. Now I'm in a battle, which I'm clearly winning. Nothing against Nick. I, nothing but respect for him. We love him to death. I'm sitting in my hyperbaric chamber with tears coming out of my eyes, crying because I'm like, I'm, I done did everything I could for Chip Kelly. I done showed him that, that the leadership, the play on the field speaks for itself galvanized the team when we had a tough time, you know, with, with what happened with Riley Cooper. And I'm like, it's still not enough. And it, it's just a reflection of what Deshaun is saying. We, we did everything we could to, to show him that we'll give you everything that we got, 110%. Yeah. And it was more about his system and himself than us. And that's why we all just yeah. kind of broke that's up. That's always been my belief is, he didn't realize he had the perfect p- player for a- each right. position for his in his system. offense yeah. and, his and that you can't just replace them with other people. It was never the system. Yeah. It's okay, man. I, it it's upsets okay. me because I'm right there with y'all. <laughs> I upset. was at home. You don't understand. I live with this conversation <laughs> like every oh, week. 